Pete's Web, good to be back with you. So updating your Oxy One is very simple. Uh, first, you need to plug it into your computer. Uh, I'm just using the cable that came with the Oxy. Uh, that is a right angle adapter that I have. That's an optional purchase. Uh, and then it's going into a hub. So however you connect it to your computer. There is one part that you need to make sure that you have set by default, it's going to be that way, but if you start kind of making some changes in your configuration, uh, it's basically here. So I'm doing shift configuration and where it says system, let me try and get that better focus for you. And I tap on that or push on that button and I come down to USB mode. Make sure that that is in device. There's three other options on here. If you pick any of the other ones there, it won't work. So that is very important. Again, if you get this out the box, you never mess with this, it's automatically gonna be in device mode, but that's a great troubleshooting tip if you go to the next step and it doesn't work. All right, so basically once you have it plugged into your computer, you go to the Oxy uh, desktop, you can go to their website, I'll put a link down below and you just download that for whatever computer you have. And you're gonna get this little pop-up here and if there is an update, it'll automatically give this little pop-up here. Do you want to update to the version? You can click on what's new to see the release notes and you can kind of read through those and determine if that's something that you want to do. And then if you're ready, just go ahead and say yes. And it will do the firmware update. You can kind of see the status on the Oxy and on the computer. It gives you a little percentage. And basically you just kind of wait for it to be done doesn't take very long, you know, obviously would depend on the firmware update if it's got a lot or a little. And then once you're done, project loaded, you'll see on the Oxy, and you're good to go. And from here, you can just go ahead and quit this out. So that's basically it. Really simple to do. Hope this helps you out. If you have any questions, you get stuck on something, feel free to let me know as well too. Now there's other things on here. Those are probably for different videos. I just wanted to keep this super, super simple in terms of updating using the desktop app. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Stay safe, keep your head on a swivel, and until next time, Sissy Hoto.